Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in disaster readiness and rest reduction, which is all about the key concepts, principles, elements, and the importance of disaster readiness and rest reduction. This will be the fourth quarter topic and module number eight. For the objectives of this lesson, at the end of this module, the learner should be able to First is to discuss the key concepts, principles, and elements of DRR. And the second one is to recognize the importance of DRR on one's life. means disaster rest reduction. It is about supporting local civil society, communities, households, and individuals to become less vulnerable and strengthen their capacity to anticipate, resist, cope, with and recover from natural hazards. An overemphasis on disaster and humanitarian relief has made way for contemporary terms such as disaster reduction and disaster rest management. The following are the key concepts of DRR. The first one is the governance. Making disaster rest reduction is a priority. Example is to integrating disaster rest reduction into development policies and planning. The governance ensures that disaster rest reduction is a national and local priority. In support of Yogo Framework for Action or HFA, countries are urged to develop policies, laws, and organizational arrangements, plans, programs, projects to integrate rest reduction and allocate funds and resources to support the program. Another key concept of DRR is the rest assessment and taking action. Improving rest information and early warning, for example, developing effective early warning system, which are appropriately adapted to the unique circumstances of the people at rest. The rest assessment and taking action, it identifies, assesses, and monitors disaster rest and enhances early warning mechanism. Early warning is to relay to individual, groups, or community the messages which provide information such as the upcoming natural phenomenon, existence of danger, preventive measures, and mechanism to save lives and property. 
Another key concepts of DRR is the knowledge management by building understanding and awareness. It is a building culture of safety and resilience. Example, including DRR subject matter in formal, non-formal, and informal education and training activities. The knowledge management by building understanding and awareness uses knowledge, innovation, and education to build a culture of safety and resiliency at all levels. It works on the principle that knowledge is important for disaster reduction. The knowledge management by building understanding and awareness strategies include provision of relevant information on disaster risk, means of protection, strengthening networks, and promoting dialogues and cooperation among disaster experts and stakeholders, conducting capability training for teachers, community members, parents, and children. Another key concepts of DRR is the rest reduction. It is reducing the rest in key sectors, example protecting precious ecosystems such as coral reefs and mangroves forests, allowing this to act as natural storm barriers. The rest reduction reduces the underlying rest factors by building local resilience in order to protect school communities. These activities include relocating communities away from hazard-prone areas. Building school facilitates strong to withstand impacts of hazards, encouraging reforestation and protection of wetlands. Another key concept of DRR is the disaster preparedness. Strengthening preparedness for response, example development and regular testing of contingency plans and regular disaster preparedness exercises including evacuation drills which are also keys to ensuring rapid and effective disaster response. The following are the key principles of disaster rest management involved in the pre-event phases. The first one is the mitigation. Mitigation measures taken in advance of a hazard that aim of reducing its impact on society and environment. Under the mitigation is the hazard or rest identification assessment. It is to develop or update and disseminate hazard maps and related information to decision makers, general public, and communicate at rest. Another key principle under the mitigation is the enforcement of zoning. It is the land use and building and fire codes. Another key principles of disaster risk management under mitigation is the integrating or mainstreaming disaster risk management. It incorporates in infrastructure construction, curriculum development and education, provision of funds. Another key principles of disaster risk management of mitigation is the developing early warning system. It is the risk assessment and mapping, put up early warning devices, communication dissemination, and establishing response capability.